shot them. So you guys want to become a mage? Well, I have the answer for you guys on what you need to have as a mage. What's up guys, uh, Bra here and today I'm showing you guys a video on my finalized build. This is my physical build, uh, more of an anti-bruiser uh, mage setup. Uh, for the first piece, it's going to be a heavy orc alchem helmet. Um, I have more physical than elemental. I have shuriken fortification, refreshing, resilient with the ignited gem on it. So you get 2% damage additional and 2% damage absorption physical. Next piece is going to be the heavy chest orc alchem and that's more physical than elemental. Again with the same ignited uh, gem on it. You got shuriken fortification, resilient healing tomb. Next piece is going to be the medium gloves with the shuriken fortification accelerating flamethrower, resilient. Next is going to be the light pants, uh, the regular pants. You can get these for free farming as you check out uh, one of my past videos. You can see on how to get these. It's got shuriken fortification, refreshing, resilient. And this is evenly distributed elemental physical. Um, next piece, it's got the medium footwear with the ignited gem again, um, efficient burnout, shuriken, fortification, and refreshing. And this one has more physical than elemental, as you can see here, 183 physical. For the amulet, I recently purchased this, got divine health and slash protection. I'm using slash protection because of all the other enemies, um, opponents that I'm playing recently. Everyone's using a sword and of course sword and shield. So this is going to help me for survivability. Um, next piece, got the ring. Recently crafted this. You can see my last video on how I did that. It's got invigorated punishment, refreshing, keen awareness like that piece there and this is a free champion earring you get from the pvp track uh, tier 2 it's got refreshing refreshing toast regenerating so uh, my stats here evenly distributed i got 25.1 percent slash damage resistance with strike 15 and thrust 15 uh, elementals not much at all 2.5 um so i i like to run this uh keeping me alive um, if you happen to run against mages kind of stay away from them unless you just know that you're better than them so for sure um, for my next uh, uh, the weapons here I got the flamethrower recently purchased this in the last week or so um, it's got empowering fireball flame attunement and kindling jag this is a bis uh, piece for sure the other one that people use is flame attunement keenly jagged and vicious uh, it's another bis piece those two i would say top of the line top top cream of the crop um, it's got the ignited gambit on it eight percent fire damage per second for two seconds and then also i like to use the crystalline curse you can get this for free once you get 200 arcana it's got refresh move on ending thaw enchanted with the frozen gambit on it um got the eight percent ice damage per second for two seconds um so that's my setup guys uh, i like to run three ten con uh 200 uh, sorry 200 con 310 uh, intelligence food I like to use is this one here the glazed bear solid vegetables um, fairly cheap in the trading post usually around 40 to 50 gold so I like to do that um, so yeah this is my main build I have other builds if you're interested in that I more happy to show you guys with the anti mage build uh, pretty similar all this pieces um, so if you guys want to see that let me know uh, my next vid is going to be with the sword, and that's a sneak peek here. I farmed, grinded this, got the Bloodsucker Sword with Leeching Crosscut, Life Stealing, Enchanted. And it's a very, very OP build with the Blunderbuss that I'll be using. I already have the gear, as you can see here. Uh, a sneak preview with this uh, light headwear. Um, this chest piece I got. So that is going to be for the sword build I'm working on. So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. And thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.